Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to 1213 Prescott Way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post another video. A video. A video. Oh, 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 video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am having Taco Bell for dinner. I did not eat at work because I wanted all of the calories to go into this. I didn't have lunch. I didn't I don't eat breakfast. So this is the cheesy potato and it has jalapeno cheese and sour cream. It dropped upside down, so that's why a lot of it is in the top. And and then I have the black bean chalupa supreme. Yeah, baby, with some hot sauce. So let's get a thumbnail in there, in there. But I want to dress it up first, put my hot sauce in here. Let's have fun. I figured I was going to use up that hot sauce. Put another one. Because uh, you know I am hungry. I haven't reached hangry. But I am just hungry. Whew. I was going to do this um, yesterday for Taco Tuesday, but they ordered rib crib, and I was like, that works for me. So let's take a bite. I'm going to have to move you up. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. Mm. But I do have to say, there's nothing hot about that hot sauce. Want to bite jalapeno and tomato potato? Mm. I should have told him to put jalapeno on it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Look it up. I just wish the shell was crunchy, but. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I do have to say that I like it, though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. David didn't want anything because he had gone out to eat with a friend for his, he um, treated him to his birthday lunch today. His birthday was yesterday. And we did go to dinner. Mm. Um, we went to Flaming Margaritas, and I told them it was his birthday, so they brought him one of those chocolate liqueur shots, which he doesn't drink, and they are delicious, so who guess who drank it? Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. It was busting out at every side. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I forgot to tell you. It was lettuce, tomato, cheese, um, and black bean, I believe. Well, I know there's black bean, but I think that's all. I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
probably should have had more hot sauce. But anyway, today, you guys, have you ever heard of Pop the Balloon or Find Love? It's by um, Arlette Amuli, I think is how you pronounce her, name, her last name. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me clarify. Because I know I've seen other people do it. Um, but the first ones I saw do it was um, Shane and Leanna. But they only did it one time. And I think I'm not positive. But I believe they got it from... You know, everybody got it from our net. Different um, mm, YouTubers doing it. But I like her edition. It's really good. If you never heard of it, they're like eight, I'm going to call them contestants, that are lined up, either eight women or eight men. And they each have a balloon, a red balloon. And then the one, one person will come in, and if they don't like them, they'll pop their balloon, you know, just from first sight. And the remaining people that have their balloons, the contestants aren't interested in the person, because, you know, they come through the door and the eight contestants look at you and say, you know, if they don't like what they see, they'll start popping their balloon. And the ones that pop their balloons before he was able, you know, before he was even able to introduce himself or as he's introducing himself, telling them what he does for a living and that kind of thing is bad. So then she goes down the line for each one that popped their balloon and asks them, why did you pop your balloon? And then they tell you what they didn't, you know, what didn't attract them to them or whatever. And then the remaining ones that after she asks them, excuse me, the ones that are still there, you know, that haven't popped their balloon, then he gets to go up to each of them and ask them questions. And based on their answers, whether he wants to pop their balloon or not, or if he doesn't pop any of the balloons and he likes all of them still, then she, then the host, um, Arnett, she will ask him, now you have to pop one or two or three, depending on how many are still there. You have to pop a balloon just based off of what you what you see, you know, in their answers or whatever, you know. So then this process of elimination. And I just think, because they, some of them are brutal, <laughs> you know, with their answers of why they pop the balloon. And then some don't even make sense. Um... But yeah, I liked it. I wouldn't want to be up there though. Mm. Uh -uh. But it seems very interesting. And it seems like, you know, I'd rather see the eight men as contestants as opposed to eight women. I don't know why. I'd rather see the woman meeting the men. And there have been matches, you know, a lot of matches. And a lot. I've seen one guy on there twice. Mm. Uh, he is very arrogant. He's a dentist. Um, he's 38. But I can see why he's single. He just goes overboard. You know, trying to prove he's intelligent. Mm, 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 mm.
popping out left and right. I was, mm. As I said, I should have put some jalapenos on there. Mm -hmm. That's all that's missing. The spice. Mm. With them potatoes, I'm good. I tried this other chalupa, I think it was called. It's wrapped in a um, tortilla. I didn't like it at all. It was full of dough. Mm. But this is good. I just thought that was a great idea for her to do. Kind of like a game show host, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Um, if you popped your balloon too soon, because no one goes, sit, goes and sits down or get out of the line, you know, the lineup. They're still there listening to his answers, and they could even ask him questions after you have popped your balloon. And not shown any interest. So after a while, time goes on, and you can continue to ask him questions. And then if you like your the answers he's given, or her, you know, or she, then you can request a balloon. <laughs> and so I've seen that uh, quite a few times as well. And then today, at one time, I've seen them actually match up. The one that popped the balloon originally, and then she wanted a balloon. delicious very good but what I just wanted to mention this because I was looking online um, you know because I like to scan like the news and stuff like that like latest interesting things and I saw the headline it said a massive billboard fell onto a gas station and killed at least 14 people during a freak storm and they said this thing was so huge that it was illegally erected because it was too big to be put up. They said that they had already taken down three of them. This is in Mumbai, India. And you should have seen it. You could actually Google it. And this billboard, I'm talking like the billboards that you see around town, your town here in the States, it is at least, I would say six of those, eight of those. I mean, maybe even more than that, but it is huge. And you just see it on top of the gas station, um, fell on cars, and of course people. I forget how many people got injured. Oh yeah, they said it's um, two hundred. Uh, it's about two hundred thirty feet by one hundred sixty five feet. So that is huge. This happened Monday. Mm -mm -mm. They said dozens were trapped in the wreckage for hours. So, gosh, I can't, boy. I, you know what my biggest thing is when I, after I read that story, I was like, uh-huh. Because <laughs> my fear, I, I don't know if it's a fear or paranoia or a thought, because I think it's more of a thought. Excuse me, like if you're stopped at a um, traffic light under the overpass, the high, the freeway, I don't know why I always think about them like, what if this sucker falls? People are in front of you, behind you, you have nowhere to go. Jump out, you can't run because it's like getting ready to fall right now, you know? I, especially in Vegas, I would always think about that. I am full. But yeah, that's, what do you guys, do you guys have scared t thoughts? Mm. Would you guys go on that game show? I remember David and I, we thought about doing um, 
what is it called? Um, speed dating. This was in Vegas. And have entertainment, you know, him singing while I'm hosting the speed dating. And, you know, him singing like in the background while they're, while they're they talking to each other, asking questions, getting to know each other. And, and it would be, I'm not even going to give it away. Because it might still happen. You never know. But I don't want to talk about my idea. Because there's a twist to it as well. But I like, you know, thinking about stuff like that. And so I'll just leave it at that. So anyway, you guys, I am so happy. My belly is nice and tight. That was delicious. They give you this, I know, well, let me put it in the palm of my hand so you can see how small it is. Because it fits right there in the palm of my hand. It's not like, then this is a perfect amount because, you know, that's being greedy if you want a whole bunch of potatoes. Although you may be able to eat them, speaking for myself. Um... You don't need that much. So, but they are so good. They're like home potatoes, you know? So I really like those. And they're right. Don't need that much. <laughs> so you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post another video, video, what's that a video, oh, 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 video. And let me know, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever watched the show um, watched, um, pop the balloon or find love or not, but you can find it on there and it's very interesting and I like it. I just think I love creativity. I thought that was a very good idea. So have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and night, and I will see you on the next video. Love you.